This is Artifacts of Mars. I'm going to explain this uh, global warming thing in a slightly different way than I've done in the past. What I've done in the past is tried to explain to people that they're going to suffocate, which is true. I'm going to explain to you why now. What happens if these maniacs do develop machines that can suck the uh, CO2 out of the atmosphere? Well, everything I'm about to tell you is known biological facts, so there's nothing to, for you to argue about. If you argue, then you're nuts. Okay, how much... Here's a breakdown of gases in the atmosphere. I'm not worried. Nitrogen is usually put at 78, but I'm just putting it... 80%, 20%, CO2, 0.04%. That's 400 parts per million. So, out of every million molecules of air, molecules, atoms, 400 of those, just 400, are made up of CO2. Now, the way oxygen is produced is that it a plant will take in carbon dioxide. It takes the carbon from the carbon dioxide and it throws out the oxygen mo molecule. That's how we breathe. Well, plants do that, we couldn't breathe. They'll only take a certain proportion of it. Of it. The higher the amount of CO2 to a point, the better they're going to be, the more food they'll be able to produce, and the more oxygen they'll be able to produce. You got that? Photosynthesis produces oxygen as a waste product from plants. This is known science. It's not an arguable point. So, what do we have happening? I'm going to talk about this next. I have to put it on pause each time. I'm not getting any cooperation on the computer. Okay. According to the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, humans need a minimum of 19.5% oxygen at sea level. Remember, that's at sea level. 14.7 pounds per square inch to breathe. We need at least 19.5% oxygen. So we're not very high above that level in our own atmosphere. I think the actual number, I forget whether it's 21.5% or 20.5, but it's not very high above that level at all. And like I said before, plants take Uh, this carbon from the CO2 molecule, and they discard the oxygen during photosynthesis. That's how we breathe. And these plants are keeping it a little above 20%, so we can breathe. But they don't care, they're just doing their thing. Next slide. There are people who are trying to take the carbon dioxide out of the air, which will result in both in thinner air and a lower percentage of oxygen. If they succeed, much less oxygen will be produced. Well, what was your first clue? Uh, let's say they reduce that 400 parts per million to 300 parts per million. Then you have a lower percentage of CO2 that can be converted into oxygen by the plants. You're going to have less plants too because they're not going to have as much food. So you're going to have mass extermination of plants and much less oxygen being produced if these people were to succeed with these machines. This is not talking about capping greenhouse gases is talking about if they uh, 
are able to suck it out of the air like some of them are trying. In large enough quantities to screw us over. Unfortunately, CO2 is replenished mainly by volcanoes. There are people who are trying to take CO2 out of the air, which will result both in thinner air and a lower percentage of oxygen. If they succeed, you'll have much less oxygen. So you have um uh, let's say like I said they take it down three hundred parts per million. That's twenty five percent. So you're gonna have twenty five percent less oxygen at least, probably closer to thirty five, forty percent being produced. So what's gonna happen? Well duh what's gonna happen is the necessary percentage is going to the percentage of oxygen in the air is going to drop. And it'll probably drop well below that level. But it it's also going to thin the air out. Because the nitrogen is going to still be there. The oxygen won't be as much. So in other words, you're going to have thinner air at 14.7 pounds per square inch sea level. That's going to drop. You'll have thinner air and it'll have less oxygen in it. That's what they're trying to do. In other words, you're going to die, like I said. This is all known science, and there's nothing to argue about here. Like I said, if these scum succeed in doing this, what will happen is, yeah, you might get a cooler Earth. Problem is, there's not, not going to be anybody left alive to enjoy it. Because you will suffocate. I think likely you will probably very quickly use up that oxygen. It'll go below that level that we need in order to breathe, and then you're going to die. It does make one wonder, however, uh, if I look at Mars, I can't help but <laughs> wonder if maybe there's some conspiracy conspiracy theorists that got it right about Mars. Don't know about that. Uh, being at war with Mars, that's a bit of a stretch even for me, but who knows. Maybe uh, we got some Martians terraforming the Earth and somebody else. Okay. The only reason I'm not on the warpath about this is I don't think they have the ability to really do anything. If these scumbags are able to start pulling CO2 out of the air on a mass scale, then we're going to have to hit them. They will have to be stopped by any means necessary. Because if you don't, you will, will suffocate. There's nothing to argue about here. You will suffocate if this is allowed to go on. And if they're able to actually suck a whole bunch of carbon dioxide out of the air, they will kill you. This is not an if. You're going to have a thinner atmosphere. You'll have much less oxygen. It'll probably drop below that level, but it doesn't have to. The atmosphere is going to thin out anyway because less oxygen, less carbon dioxide will be converted to oxygen. So there will be less oxygen that results in a thinner atmosphere. And it won't take very long either. You suck out that, you suck out CO2, there's no more oxygen, not enough oxygen being produced. Oxygen levels drop. Nitrogen stays the same, the air thins out. Like I said, we can't lose very much before we all suffocate. Very, very little can we uh, lose. So even if they took if they took a quarter of CO2, my guess is that would be enough to kill us all. 
You need that CO2 to breathe, whether you realize it or not. It's basic biological fact. Um, let's take a quick look at a couple of websites. Computers are going to say, I'm going to put up. Well, maybe I don't have to put it on hold. We'll see. This one's a uh, new scientist. It'll come off eventually. New scientist. This is a debunker site. They're uh, saying that CO2 levels will boost plant growth, which it is boosting plant growth and food production. I don't think much of this uh, site at all. I'm thinking we're getting a minimum. This is where I got that. 20.9% is oxygen. So. We lose. If that level goes down 19.5%. We'll probably only have to go down to 20% with a thinner atmosphere for us to suffocate. So you're not gonna you're not gonna live very long if these scumbags are allowed to do what they're uh, saying they wanna do. That's about it for today. Uh, you're going to suffocate if you don't. Uh, if we don't put a lid on this. These people will kill us. It's not an if. They are trying to kill you and I. The question is why? The only thing I can figure the only thing I can figure is that we really have been infiltrated by some sort of alien force. An alien force that doesn't like the oxygen and would like to get rid of it. Maybe it's toxic to them on some level or something. I don't know. But these people have to know these facts. These are all biological facts. You reduce the CO2 in the atmosphere substantially, you're not going to have enough air to breathe. The very best scenario is the human race will become dumbed down to the point where it will be simple, little more than vegetables kind of like uh, more like primitive animals this is the organ that's going to suffer the most is the brain that's if you don't suffocate so wake up people I've been hammering on this hammering on this less CO2 means less oxygen produced which means a thinner atmosphere and a lower percentage of oxygen it's simple basic math. There's nothing to argue about. If you're arguing, then check yourself into a mental hospital. Everything I've talked about here is basic biological fact. You have all these leftists online that want to uh, say the world's coming to an end if we don't reduce CO2. Well, your life is going to come to an end if we do. The atmosphere, where's the temperature varies day to day, year to year. 
It just does that. It's the way it's always been. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. Remember, you have scumbags out there trying to kill you. They want to suck the CO2 out of the air. And if they succeed, you suffocate. Bye now.